All right, let's take a look at this here, new version. Nice. Oh, I like that end. That's cool. All right, so looking at this. Once you move on next version, I'd be careful not to have the blink and then the head moving down and at the same time it gets a bit okay kind of kind of simple and kind of post to posey i would always i was thinking you know imagine this guy just had a fight that's imagining you know you were already talking about here getting into fight mode so he just did something and that's how he ends up so he's he's definitely not in control and he's trying to you know, kind of <laughs> let's get back into this so to me anything until here is going to be less controlled like this this seems very okay and i think this would be more of a a looser head arc in y and bit of a roll a bit slower in terms of the timing you might even relax those fingers a little bit and then when he does this that move and especially pushing up the fingers curl back in so that the tension is is back but even through there, I would have a little bit of side-to-side -side movement in the root. So that he's just kind of loose and like, oh, oh, whew. and that is the moment where he tenses up again. And now he gets ready. It still has an overall feel where I like that there's stuff going on here. It's a bit fast. It feels more like a knee controller was moved versus him leaning over and then putting pressure on this knee to then lift this knee over. Not that it has to be like a, a step, but still, I would go beyond just moving that controller. And really, if you are on your knees like this, how would your body move to to make a shift like that? I would love to see your reference. I don't know if you have any, if you feel any reference to see what your mechanics are and something like this. Because even this here, there's so much weight on the knees, and then this knee just kind of slides over. But those kneecaps are, are, you know, he's also a massive guy, so they're going to have a lot of weight on there. So I'm not super buying the slide. I was thinking more about a lean over, bearing that weight, and then the knee can move a little bit. It's almost like these are tiny feet, and then you got that little rah, weight shift happening in those moments there. And then on something like this, that's definitely where I would start moving him over and lean on on this knee, if that makes sense, right? So he's he's more like rah, like that, and you, maybe this knee can even come off the ground a little bit. Right now, it feels like there's a pivot in the root in the pelvis, and it kind of moves over, and I don't see a shift over, which again gives it this overall. There's a lot of movement here, but this feels separate and cut off. It's definitely better. I think this is the right direction. I would just push it more in terms of the believability of weight and weight transfer. And then when you have... Uh, there's a lot of shake in the camera. I would take the camera shake out for now so you can really look at the animation. I feel like we might want to... There's a kind of a more of a tremor in the shoulder and the elbow. And a bit more of a... Again, imagine you're going up so you're going to raise the root a bit, lean on, on that knee. Again, it might lift that knee up a little bit so that when you go, bam, this goes first, shake in here, overlap with that, and then the root will come down as well and maybe even spread out those knees because that, that weight brah, brought them back. This still feels a bit too, it's just an arm moving down, bam, and nothing else is really happening. There's not a little bit of a, like this impact tremor is going to fan out an impact this a lot this to some degree this a bit more because it's it's lighter and looser than the massive chest there and speaking of which i'd be careful to not have the head in world space too much or however you animate it so that you have so much chest movement and you can see how the rotation of the head stays the same it feels it just adds to that feeling of there is movement here but it isn't cut off ik hands there's movement in the chest but the knees are not working it to me it still feels like separate pieces moving all the time if that makes sense and then here moves over 
and does this, but I don't see anything here. Again, this is the idea of you're moving over. So now this line for for that thigh, you know, might be even like this. And then you get that that move over and he's really leaning and maybe the arm goes even like this far, pivoting off of of that side of the of the fist. I'm just seeing a rotation over and then this again sliding over. I don't feel like there's a weight shift over. Yeah, so I would definitely act this out. I'm curious how you act it out and how you move. And you can always have, you know, you can put on like a ginormous backpack with a lot of weight so that you kind of mimic this a bit. Because even this here feels like the leg just kind of comes up and then rests. And then the root just kind of goes up because of this movement. But I don't see really anything in the hip and in the root compensating or, or being affected by the leg going up and into a step. Like, I feel like there's going to be a massive amount of intersections there. But it's just the mechanics, I feel like it needs a bit more work. And then this is cool. But again, it feels like that head is too separated. To me, it would be a... Even on this move up, you can see how that head basically looks like a 2D car going back. So it would be rotating down with the drag. And on this, rotate up and in Y. Maybe a bit of a roll. Just a bit more of a an impact there and even here again it feels like a lot of movement separating the head at least there's some more movement in there it feels a bit better there and then with this i would exaggerate and add some more shake really in here that then tapers off so shake 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 a bit in the elbow and a little bit in that in the um, shoulder maybe a little bit in the head this feels too clean too smooth for me Subjectively, I don't know. Maybe that's like super control, but I think it would be really cool to feel that that vibration of those blades goes into the rest of the body there too. Let's see here. And again, I'm still concerned that we don't see too much with the eyes. Just that the attitude of like that move up in the head to me coincides right when this happens. So it's almost like and then a bigger head move up. I know it's more intimidating like this and you want the head to be straight on, but I still feel like we're we're missing a beat where the head does a really noticeable move and attitude change. To me, this seems so small with the eyes and what the head, are, the head is doing. But that we could kind of push that more. Watch out for stuff like that as you move forward. So you have an elbow move down here. That's going to rotate that wrist a bit more. Otherwise, it feels too like a cut off IK arm. Same thing here. There's the elbow going out, but technically the downwards rotation here is the same. I see something in in Y, but you still have that very straight, um, you know, flat look as if it just comes up straight. So imagine if it's like this, that forearm, either like the wrist would be out like this, or you would bring that wrist down into something like that. So that flat side is here. So you have a bit of a curve there. And then watch out, it dies a bit at the end when you have such a big move up and then down bam after that rotation everything kind of dies so for your next pass or just in future passes just think about again i know there's tension but it's still a big guy there's a lot of you know there's a lot of balancing he has to do so there's some little looseness in the in the root a little bit of swinging in the arms it's basically you want this to be loose enough while keeping a, a feel of tension that's kind of the the What's the word? The balancing act you have to achieve there. All right. Hope that makes sense. I know here's the, the, the sections that we talked about that might be a problem. So you're going to have to potentially really adjust this pose with the, with the lean over. Might have to lean a lot over this way to make this work. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of that. All right. Thanks. And actually, hold on. One more thing. I know this is like the first version of it, but it could be kind of neat when this opens to have the opening of the blades be staggered, maybe or, or separated. Maybe it's like one, two, three, or this and this and then this one. Just kind of make it a bit more mechanic. And maybe the, I know if, I can't remember if you can rotate those blades down, but there would be. Imagine that that's the the blades are like this, and then they go up 
into that position. Like something a bit more transformery and mechanical could be also cute. Just for a couple frames. To make it less clean. Again, it just adds to the whole clean feel that I have in this pass. Alrighty. Let me know what you think. And that's that. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.